cleaning data. So once we collect data and people fill in their forms or we go and do some measuring or counting, we've got our data, what we then need to do is look at that data set. Now there will be mistakes in this data set. There will be empty, empty um, cells, there will be missing information, there will be things that we type in incorrectly into the computer, all of those things. And those are the kinds of issues we need to look for. So for example, if I had some data and I had somebody who had put their age as 162, I know that that is just not possible for somebody to be 162. Nobody in the world has been has lived that long. So in that case, I will be certain that they, that that data value is wrong. And in which case, what I would then do is I would delete that data value, okay? And I would remove it completely because and only because I am certain it is wrong. If, however, I had some data where I was looking at the height of some students and I had a value of um, 75 centimetres, my gut instinct says that doesn't sound right. A young child might be 75 centimetres, but if I was talking about somebody who's 14, 15, 16 years old, I don't expect that they are 75. So that value is probably wrong. But I don't know for certain. It might be that that person actually is only 75 centimetres tall. And um, they are, for example, have dwarfism. Okay. So if I don't know for certain, I leave that data alone. So I would not touch it whatsoever. Um, but if I do know it absolutely is wrong, then and only then will I change it. Now if I, and what I would do then is I would either leave the cell blank or you can enter the, a value of zero instead, okay?